Six from the Competent Communicator Manual. In doing so, Vanessa will focus on local variety. The title of her speech is Who Does Not Like to Be Free? Vanessa Cobb. <laughs> The title of my speech is, Who Doesn't Like It Free? Do you like it free? I like it free. Do you like it free? Yes, yeah. she does like it free. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I had the opportunity to attend seminars given by Hillsborough County in cooperation with the University of Florida. The seminars were on, and here you have the information, the seminars were on composting, water harvesting and micro irrigation. Something that I really, really, really loved about this program was that it was free, free of charge to every participant. But what was even more amazing is that after the seminars, the consultants have remained available to us for consultation so that because they want to see how we do and how, how we succeed. But what is really, really, really more amazing is that we left the seminars with all the equipment necessary to implement a composting strategy, a micro irrigation strategy, and a water harvesting strategy. Micro irrigation. Oh, I took a picture of all my equipment when I came, went home because I wanted to show it to my husband. When he saw the equipment, he only had one question. He asked me, How much did it cost you? <laughs> Imagine his relief <laughs> and embarrassment when I told him that it was all free of charge. How good is that? The second, okay, so the first seminar was on micro irrigation. Micro irrigation is the low volume, press, precise, targeted irrigation. The reason the government wants you to micro-irrigate is, of course, for water conservation. Your benefit is that if you macro-irrigate, you do not have to comply with county restrictions on irrigation. You can irrigate all you want. For the irrigation program, I just wanted to show you <coughs> everything I got in that area. First, I received a kit that allows me to micro-irrigate 50 linear feet. Of all the equipment that I got during the three seminars, my favorite is this gadget. Essentially, you stick it in the ground and it tells you, is it wet, is it dry, is it moist? I, I love it. But what I really, really, really loved about the program is that it empowered me. Now, I can set up a whole irrigation system in my property without having to pay a consultant to do it for me. I can do it myself. The second seminar was on water harvesting, and it is essentially what the name suggests, water harvesting. You basically collect water in your property and you use it for your own personal uses, like washing your patio, washing your dog. The reason the county wants you to collect water is because runoff is terrible for the environment. When, I, 
when it rains and your water leaves your property and goes down the street on its way to our bay, it picks up a lot of oil and other poison that at the end ends up in our water system and kills our fish. So the county really wants you to dispose of your water on site so that it goes down and it hits the water table without going down the street. Now, I will tell you that a 55 gallon um, bucket barrel, excuse me, a 55 gallon barrel is not going to make a dent in my situation. But what was great was that during the presentation, I really learned about water and water issues and I became far more aware of some problems. For example, if you have water standing next to your property, it will damage your foundation eventually. It will take a long time, but it will damage your foundation. So at the end of the day, I am a person with more awareness of what I need to do as a responsible citizen to deal with the water that falls in my property. Isn't that cool? The third issue was, or the third seminar was on composting. Composting happens every day because it is essential, the, the degradation of organic matter. Let's say that there is a tree and a leaf, a leaf falls to the ground and you leave it there, over time it decomposes. The same thing will happen to you and to other, every other member of the animal kingdom. For dirt you are, and, to, and for to dirt you shall return. <laughs> so, co composting is essentially the manipulation of that system so that you can control it and make it happen faster. What would generally take years now takes a few months. The end result of composting is compost, which is this dark, dark dirt. It is not fertilizer. To understand the significance or the difference, fertilizer feeds plants. Compost feeds the soil. Compost is it's what takes care of soil depletion. So when you add compost to the soil in your, in your garden, <coughs> the, the plants from that healthy soil will be stronger, will reproduce better, will produce more fertile and nutritious fruit, and will be very, very better able to fight pests and disease. But the benefits to the county are in them. And I'm not telling you that it's just about transportation of garbage. It is really about what happens in the landfills. When you take organic matter and you compost it, no problem. You put that same organic matter in a landfill, and because a landfill is an, an uh, aerobic environment, meaning no, no oxygen, that, in the process of decomposition, methane gas will be created, and that is a very, very, very bad gas. It's blame for global warming, by the way. For me, what happens is that I am able to transform household waste into garden treasure. How good is that? Mr. Toffmatic?